Welcome to this second tutorial in the clustering series. In this tutorial, as you can read, I'm going to show you how you can create clusters by manu manually selecting fragments. Again, just like with the painting, it is a very precise way of creating uh, clusters uh, designed to uh, enable you to address very specific notes from supervisors or directors. So before I uh, delve into the nitty-gritty of this tutorial. Let's uh, let's have a look at Let me just get out of this here. Let's have a look at the other ways of clustering that we uh, Have discussed and will discuss so the first one the previous tutorial um, Which you can find on our website or Vimeo channel or our Facebook page Was painting clusters with color maps with the artisan tools. I showed you there that you can paint directly onto meshes and uh, depending on the colors that you paint, you will have clusters. Uh, again, a very precise way of creating clusters. In this tutorial, as you can read, I'm going to show you how you can create clusters by manually selecting fragments. And then after that, there are two more methods of creating clusters uh, that I will cover in future tutorials. So let's have a look. So what I have here is the scene that I've been using for these clustering tutorials. There is another tutorial uh, that explains you how I set up this scene because there are some events and takes and things in in this scene that I'm not going to explain in this tutorial because I want to focus on the clustering part. So to actually select fragments uh, to create clusters it's very easy. What I like to do is I like to create an initial sim even when I'm not working with clusters I create an initial sim just to see uh, or I, I should say I create a take of an initial sim to see uh, you know what my sim looks like obviously uh, to see if I have to change num points if there is any intersections and so on and so on so what you do then is for this method to work you actually need uh, to have fragments you know to have to be able to select fragments you need to have fragments pretty logical I guess so you can just go forward a couple of frames or just one frame uh, I like to go where I can see it already crumbling in this case and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the break geo node of uh, the mesh in question. So in this case, it's the dome. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to go to clustering, localized cluster, turn that on. And then I'm not going to use paint because that's what we used in the previous tutorial. I'm going to go to mesh volumes. Um, you can see, by the way, that here's the other one, the Voronoi cells, which I will cover in uh, a few tutorials down the line but anyway so to create clusters from fragments is very easy you can you just use your selection tool you can use your marquee selection tool or you can use your uh, lasso tool but anyway just select the uh, fragments that you want to be in a cluster you just select deselect these activation volumes and then you hit this button create from selected fragments and what that will do is will actually create a um, a volume around those fragments and whatever is inside that volume um, whatever is inside that volume uh, will uh, be turned into a cluster so if you want to see that you can actually uh, by default that volume is templated but if you just want it to be fully meshed you can see it there as well um, and uh, it's in here somewhere as well there we go the cluster volume here we go so if I were to isolate that that's what it looks like okay now there is uh, a few controls that you have on there if you want to use an offset around this so you can just create this bigger so the cluster uh, will uh, so more fragments will be inside that cluster I can show you that just turn it off there we go now what I'm gonna do first before I show you that is I'm actually gonna create a take and then you will already see this, the color of this cluster. Now, because my main mesh uh, or my main event uh, results to purple, I'm going to change this color, let's say, into white so we can clearly see it. Then I'm going to create a take. I'm going to overwrite this last take so we can see what is going on. Um, just going to run through this. And you can see that these here where I have the cluster are sticking together and in a bit I will show uh, I will turn off the polygons so we can more clearly see the uh, the color of the fracture mesh which is going to be white so another few frames there we go 
So let me turn off the polygons, 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 polygons. You can see here the cluster. Okay, clearly see the cluster. So that is that. So let's create another one just for um, just for the fun of it, and then let's uh, break them when they hit the ground plane, or let's do another uh, filter where we separate them out by color. Um, so let me just uh, turn on polygons again. Let's go to um, mm -mm -mm, life simulation. Let's rewind that. Let's see. Show you this. You can see that this grows that cluster. It's kind of like you know poly grow or something like that. So you can you know uh, offset this cluster to make it bigger uh, outside the actual edges of that volume. So I'm just gonna set that back and obviously you can see that it's uh, real-time updated. So let's create something like that. Right? Why this is particularly handy is because sometimes you will create a cluster and maybe one fragment will not be in there for one reason. Maybe you know you forgot to select it. Maybe the selection didn't work very well. So you can just use this uh, offset distance to enlarge uh, the area of your volume. So now that we have that, let's uh, let's go to our tower break geonode and let's create a cluster, let's say here at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to go to my initial sim again, just go a few frames and just for the heck of it, just use the lasso tool, select these ones here, something like that, maybe deselect that, these puppies here, that didn't work very well, did it? So let's deselect these ones. There we go. And let's make sure that we're in the right break geonode. Let's uh, click that button again, create from selected fragments that created a cluster. Let's give that a red color. I don't know if we, have, let's, let's make blue. Okay. And let's sim that as well. Let's overwrite the previous sim. Okay, and after this, what I'm going to have, you can see it, I'm going to, I have a white cluster and I have a blue cluster. And let's say uh, that the nodes are that the white one has to stick together. You know, it shouldn't break when it hits the floor, for example, or it should never break. But the blue one, it should, uh, it should uh, separate, it should break apart in its individual fragments, uh, let's say at frame 20. Okay, so I'm going to show you a way to very easily set that up. So let's turn off polygons, and there we can see our clusters. We have a white one, the big one from the structure at the top, and then we have this one here, which sticks together. Um, so yeah, so uh, what did I say, the blue one, right? So let's create an event that uh, breaks the blue one, but not the white one, at frame 20. So this is the same event that I'm using, that I used in the previous tutorial, but let's you know, let's repeat it again so it sinks in. Uh, so I'm going to use a, a anima animative animation event, and it's going to be separate cluster. I'm going to use the ob uh, delete the object filter. Sorry, I'm going to change this to 20. So basically, I'm filtering for clusters. I'm filtering for something that happens after frame 20, uh, or on or after frame frame 20, and then I'm going to make sure that I use this blue color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my cluster uh, creation here and in this color here uh, I could just copy over the values here you know uh, it's pure blue so it's 001 but this swatch here will stay in this widget so I'm, I'm just going to use that so I'm going to use a data filter I'm going to set it to color and then in here I'm just going to add the blue Okay, so what this is going to do is going to check for basically blue clusters at frame 20, and if all those uh, filters, if all those conditions um, uh, go true, uh, then they, oops, recharge my laptop, um, then it will break. And let's just change this to uh, black so we can more clearly see it. So I'm going to do a new take here, and what should happen is the blue cluster here. Uh, should break at frame 20 and turn black. You know, turn black. There we go. And you can see now that it clearly separates in its, its individual fragments. 
Okay, well, that's all I have for this tutorial. Um, two more tutorials uh, about clustering methods coming. Stay tuned.